Hi RC family. Today I want to unbox the D90 Land Rover RC truck by Banggood. It's a cheap, affordable RC rock crawler. Um, let me go over the pros and cons of this uh, rock crawler. So here we go. Let's unbox it. Okay, so it's the D90, like I said, Land Rover um, RC truck made by Banggood. It is the alloy trapezoidal framework work with the four wheel drive power. It's got sheet metal suspension and three kg capacity and the um, 2.4 gig signal on the radio and it's got LED front headlights and on the 7.4 LiPo battery that comes with it, it lasts up to 50 minutes. There's also upgradable parts you can get for it, which is like metal connecting rods, metal shock absorbers, <clears throat> and metal drive shafts. So there's the uh, upgradable parts. That light's in the way, huh? Let me see. Is that better? Let's see. Can you see a little bit better? Let me turn this light off. down okay that's better so there you there you have it you have the upgradable metal connecting rods the metal shock absorbers and you can get the metal drive shafts so here we go it's the 1 12th scale version 4x4 four four, uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio the D90 let's see what's inside So, let's see if we could bring the guy a little bit lower. There we go. Right, so, this side comes with some stickers. Some pretty cool stickers. You got Camel Trophy. You got some Pro stickers. Some Land Rover stickers. Some Defender stickers. Yeah, pretty cool sticker. Pretty cool little little setup. Nice, a little shell. So I like the stickers so far. Let's see what else we got in there. Oh, nice. So I really like this little truck for somebody who is just a beginner and doesn't want to spend a lot of money, but wants to have the scale realism that you go for when you go into the uh, rock crawling RC. Um, community so here we go it comes with a instructional manual just a just a, a, a breakdown I guess if you will of the parts that you can get extra parts if you break them spare parts and how the um, the body goes together and how it goes so that's not bad so let's open it up here it is the detail on it is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, the the, the packaging isn't bad, you know. I mean, uh, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Let me come up this way and get the controller out. And it's kind of a cheesy controller, you know. But what do you want for 50 bucks, right? <laughs> I mean, it has a a light that you illuminate to make sure you have, you know, power. Um, doesn't look like it has any um, trim or anything, so it's just set, you know, by forward and backwards. Yeah, I don't see no trim settings. Okay, so get into here, there's a goodie bag, and inside the goodie bag, there's, it looks like some uh, rear view window mirrors to put on because it doesn't have them on there, but that's about it that you have to uh, put on. Looks like there's maybe some lights, some front lights, maybe some door handles, door handles there. So <clears throat> that's cool, comes <clears throat> with a little packet. Also comes with the charger for the battery. A little cheesy charger. Let's get the truck out itself. Truck comes out. 
Here's the egg. And man, look at the detail on this thing. The detail is really, really cool. That's what I really liked about it. The detail on it. I mean, look at that thing. It even has an interior inside. You can see, you can put a figure inside. Snorkel, got the uh, roof rack, got the spare tire, usable spare tire, you know. Uh, gas tank that you, you probably comes in the packet with the doorknobs. And then I like this here, you open up the hood here. Open, how does it open? Somehow you open this. There you go. And there's the battery inside. So there's the battery. You clip it, close it. That's the battery. Underneath, it has suspension somewhat. It's got two drive shafts, plastic that you can upgradable. But the problem with this is the steering is non-proportional, the steering on this thing. And um, that's where it's actually, instead of, it, 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 it's just not, not good if you ever tried non-proportional steering. That's the draw of this, this car. But that's the first thing I would upgrade is take that out and give it a servo. And then other than that, I mean, for $50, what do you want? I mean, this thing is just, it really looks good. It really is a really good looking uh, beginning truck. If you really wanted to, you could gut all the electronics out. That's what people do. And then get your own controller, put your own controller in with your own electronics. And then you got a, a $50 brand new rig. But anyways, as it goes, I'm going to run it, show you how it runs. Hopefully we'll have some footage soon. There it is. The D90 Land Rover by Banggood has the non-proportional steering, is a 112 scale, looks really nice, detailed in, in, in interior. It's got, needs two AA batteries for the transmit transmitter. Um, the battery goes up under the hood, that's the feature I like. It's got a 130 um, motor and uh, it's 4x4 with, um, uh, B36 electronic kit upgrades available and um, there you have it by Banggood the D90 Land Rover so thank you for watching subscribe if you're not um, if you know of a friend that would like this channel please turn them on as usual be good humans uh, stay healthy in this crazy world and by all means don't forget I'm RC Pop Pop and always find time to RC baby